Hey, this is Ken from Coffee Crafters, and I'm out in the shop roasting on our new Volenta 7 today. So uh, Bryce came out, and we thought we'd do a quick video because we haven't done a video roasting on it yet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load some beans, and then we'll talk about the features on the machine and what's going on. So one of the things different about this machine is you don't load it without the loft air running. So it's like other fluid bed roasters. Um, a lot of them have that feature as well, where you never want the beans to stop lofting or lay against the floor when it's not working. So I'm going to go ahead and load five pounds of beans. One of the things I really like about the roaster is you can actually leave the loft set in one place through the entire roast and set the heat setting. So it's been a lot of days out here sitting by the roaster on a one pound through seven pound load trying to figure out where those settings were at. And so like any fluid bed roaster, you never want the beans to stop lofting because if they do, you'll scorch the beans on the bottom. And this one's no exception. So we got three viewing ports on the front so you can watch the roast going. So we did a couple of different things on the roaster. Um, one thing with some of the past models, we had trouble with chaff getting in the system power and the heat switches, so we have uh, new, actually, waterproof switches, so they uh, can't get any stuff in them. That was kind of the only thing that would go wrong on the other roasters, uh, you know, any kind of regularity, so that's been great. This roaster will also roast down to a 200 gram sample. So that was one of the things that we tried to accomplish. This is not like roasting on the uh, Artisan XE or the Artisan 3E for heat settings. The fluid bed uh, in the air curtain is much, much different than roasting in a conical hopper. So one of the things that we noticed is on a one pound load, uh, your max roast air temperature is going to be, you know, to, if you're roasting to 440 degrees, your max roast air temperature is going to be about 480, where on a 7-pound load it's going to get up to 580. And the reason that happens is this is a 4-inch diameter air curtain in there, and that air gets down in there, and so a 1-pound load is continuously in the hot air. It doesn't take a lot of hot air to get good heat transfer. As the loads get larger, it will throw them up towards the front of the slope of the hopper, and it goes down, and it takes a little bit more heat. It starts to kind of equal what it takes in a conical hopper towards the end of its max capacity. So this is also a little different in that the heat transfer is a lot more efficient, which for us, it was really transferring more heat at a lower roast air temperature and bringing it up real gradually. So we're roasting faster at a lower um, uh, roast air temperature, which was really confusing because we have, you know, 12 years of experience roasting on our other ones with a conical hopper. So you get those numbers stuck in your head on uh, what heat it takes to do a certain thing. And it did not apply on this roaster. The other thing that we're doing differently than our other roasters is we harvest hot air off of the stack, which is the the roast chamber through the heat chamber, and we're cycling that hot air down inside into the intake of the loft blower. And that made a huge difference. It did knocked about on the, before we started doing that in the early prototypes, we um, shaved off about four, four minutes of time, you know, from the same heat settings and the same load size setting. So that made it a lot more efficient. The roaster itself without the exhaust blower is really quiet. That was the other thing that we noticed. Um, we're working on a sound deadening box to go with the exhaust blowers. So we're anticipating this is going to be a popular model uh, as a shop roaster for coffee shops. Um, it's really easy to operate. It would be easy for the person roasting the coffee to multitask while they're roasting and do packaging and do some other things because you don't have to babysit the loft as much. I'm not going to touch this loft the whole way through. Um, and I'm not going to touch the heat setting. So 
So one of the other features about the roaster is we get asked a lot about roast profiling software and do we have you know, automated controls. This roaster being so easy to manage the, the loft, we partnered with um, Jason Scott uh, and he built a Hermetheus unit specifically for this roaster, it's a roaster co-pilot. And what it does is you just establish the loft on the side of the roaster, we'll show you when we're done with the roasting. Um, we built in a unit right in the side of the roaster. If any of you are familiar with the products that he put on our standard roasters, you took the heat knob off, this thing went over the top and uh, it actually controlled the heat up and down against a ramp of bean temperature rise. So the Valenta 7, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is uh, unplug the thermocouple from our, our temperature thermometer here and plug it into his unit, switch it from manual to auto, and you're off and running. It's also nice not having to take the hopper off when you're dumping the beans. So we designed a, a one finger uh, dump mechanism over here. So push it down and just back uh, one click to lock it in place and when you get ready to dump it's just very little pressure to put down there and dump the beans in the hopper so we're gonna at the end of this roast I'm gonna go ahead and load the second roast when we in the video but you do not have to turn the loft down and you don't have to turn the heat down when you're doing back-to-back -back if you're doing the same size of loads you just dump your next batch in which I'll show you how we do it it makes it really efficient so this will roast on a warm machine. It will roast six seven pound loads in an hour or seven six pound loads in an hour. So we're kind of stuck at that 42 pounds an hour. One of the things that's nice about roasting the six pound loads is you can actually, the Hermetheus will uh, do automated controls all the way through those roasts. On a seven pound roast, we just turn it up on high and leave it there. And it's got a nice even ramp. So that's really a preference for the customer. We have a light on the, on the top of the hood. Just a magnetic light that goes on the side. It shines down in there, so you can see it shining down inside of there. But if you have good light in your room, you'll notice that you can see the beans going by really easy. You can see what the color profile is looking like. So it's the same process that when we go to dump, we uh, open the blast gate over there uh, get the air, cooling air down drafting before we put the beans in, and then you're ready to go. So the roaster is going to ship on the same pallet as the XC shipped on. Um, it's a little bit taller, obviously. The roaster comes almost fully assembled. The only thing the customer has to put on, other than the ducting, is the mast, the mast and the hood will be in another box. So it's only four little uh, nuts to put on and pretty much ready to wire it up and go to work. So one of the things that, that I did like about the automated controls was you truly didn't have to worry about the heat setting at all. Um, so we have a chart that's going to go with it on the recommended settings from uh, one pound through seven pounds. Now that was in our factory, 65 degrees were climate controlled in here um, with our power supply, which power supply can be different. The nice thing with the automated controls is it really did make it easier to kind of set it and forget it and you can do some other things while you're working around the roaster. Now that I know where the heat settings are here, I don't need it to go through my, my roast time. So the Valenta roaster roasts a little faster with the same type of roast profile as the Artisan roaster. The Artisan roast roaster's sweet spot was eight to 12 minutes. And on the Valenta roaster, it's more of a six to 10 minute roast. Um, the first time I roasted a one pound batch, 
I kept turning it down, kept turning it down, and we hadn't yet learned about how much faster the roaster roasted small batches, and so we finally got that dialed in, so we wouldn't roast over 480 degrees with that one pound roast, but I roasted a five pound roast. I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna cup it anyway, and it was actually good coffee, um, which before on the, on the artisan roasters, if you roasted a five pound roast, you could definitely tell that the beans were scorched on the outside, underdeveloped on the inside, but this does roast a lot faster at a lower temperature, so we're still getting used to uh, the difference in, in how that roasts. So we're coming up on our, our dump temperature here for today. So you can see when we started that load, the green bean load was down in here. Now we've grown up into the, into the hopper. And we know we're gonna get this question. People are gonna be asking, can we do larger than a seven pound load? And the answer is no. <laughs> seven pound load fills it up inside. Um, we're gonna do some videos after this with some tips on sample roasting, because one of the things that was important to us is usually a roaster that will do any volume at all won't do samples, 200 gram samples. And we got this where it's roasting 200 gram samples really well. Um, and especially well if you add the automation into it, because at the lower end of the load size, heat management gets a little bit more tricky. All right, so we're up to our temperature now. I'm gonna open the blast gate, get the cooling air to go through, and then uh, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to dump. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and load the next batch because we're gonna do a back-to-back. -back. And we're roasting the next batch. So there really isn't a lot of adjustment to do when you're doing uh, the roasting on the Valenta because you really don't have to touch the settings, you know, going from one load to the next makes it a lot more convenient. So before we end the video, uh, I'm gonna have Bryce come around and show you the Hermetheus unit. Now the Hermetheus unit is an aftermarket part. We are not the ones that are going to service and support it. So we just made a machine that will accept it. And so you'll be working with Jason at the Hermetheus um, company on those, but come around here, Bryce. So there's the unit sitting inside. So all you have to do is plug in this thermometer wire into the unit on the side, the power supply. We put a plug in in there to plug it in. Um, switch it from manual to auto and you're ready to roll. All right, thank you. That was our first video for the, the Valenta 7 unit. We'll have a lot more videos to come. We're gonna cover maintenance, doing small loads, you know, and uh, whatever uh, customer requests we get for added explanation on the unit. So it's ready to order now online and we hope people uh, like it as much as we do. Thanks for watching.